Hi, my name is Russ, and I'm going to show you how to use uh, Google's new script editor for automations uh, to create routines that uh, work with Trigger CMD devices. Um, so you can run a command using these routines, or you can, uh, you, you know, run a command using Trigger CM using Trigger CMD that you know runs your routine, and then your routine can do something like you know turn the plug uh, a wise plug on or off, um, and so. You, this is the this is the editor right here. You've got uh, for each routine uh, or automation, in other words, um, you need a starter and you need an action. And in this case right here, the starter is going to be you know turning the lamp off, and uh, that's going to turn you know that's going to actually uh, run Notepad with parameter off. So I've got Notepad here as a trigger CMD command, and I've allowed parameters. So it will run notepad with you know, parameter off. And let me just show you what happens when I do that. Notepad off. So it just runs notepad uh, with, you know, tries to open up a note or an off.txt file. Um, uh, I guess first of all, I'll quickly cover this um, linking um, Google Home with Trigger CMD Smart Home. Uh, so you go. Let's see, go to the TriggerCMD.com site, and it, when you go to Trigger Methods, you'll see uh, the, let's see here, this link here, and th this gives you instructions, and there's, you know, more screenshots if you need them here, um, but I'm, yeah, I didn't want to dwell on that, because that's been working, you know, for a long time. What's new is this, um, you know, the, the fact that you can create these routines using the uh, automation tool. So I've or uh, sorry, the script editor tool. So I've created uh, some example routines, four of them actually. So when I turn the lamp off, here, let me just quickly demonstrate actually. When I turn, uh, when I run notepad with parameter on, I've got this routine, uh, let's see, notepad on, lamp on. So this routine is gonna sense that I, that state is true you know, it became true uh, that, you know, Notepad was turned on. And there, therefore, it's going to do this action, which is make my lamp uh, on. So on will be true on my lamp. And it's going to use this condition because uh, I don't want there to be an endless loop because I've got, I've got four of these routines. Um, let's see here. I'll show you them. When I turn the lamp off, it's going to, it's, Sorry, when I turn the lamp off, it's going to run notepad with parameter off. And when I run notepad with parameter off, it's going to turn the lamp off, right? And even though it's already off, it would try to turn it off. So I need this condition in here to, to block that. So, I, sorry, it's been a long time. I need to show you this. Uh, so you can see I ran the routine that turns my lamp on. And uh, let me just close this. With this is, we're done with this. And now I'll run the the routine that runs when I run Notepad with parameter off. And what it does, the action is to turn the lamp off. Um, now I can also, you know, the other two routines. Uh, let me show you the other two. When I turn the lamp on or off. It should turn notepad on or off, or you know, run notepad with parameter on or off. So for that, I'm going to use my cell phone. I've got uh, you know the lamp off, and I just turned it on, and it ran my or sorry, turned my lamp on, and then ran uh, notepad with parameter on. Uh, let me close that again and, and not, you know do the opposite. So it ran Notepad with parameter off. Um, so that's that's about it for the demo. Uh, but you know, I will put the um, the link to the forum post with more information uh, in the link below. Thanks for watching.